Okay, Tina, everybody have a, everybody have a quick look up here. Um, now, you do not have to do this, but since two-thirds of you guys said you were interested in doing this, let me just show you how to do this um, relatively quickly and painlessly. And that is, we have some data in tabular form, in this case, zip codes, but all we have right now is the zip code number. And so some of you guys are saying, hey, we want to look at, you know, their origin county or, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and did that make a difference, right? So um, I just, I'm showing you a really quick example here. I can share this, this other file. So what I did was, this is your data. I just downloaded the survey data, right? And so we have it right now. Column HT is the zip code, right? Which is great, super helpful. But we don't have any other data with that. Maybe we'd want to add on the average household income in that county. All that kind of data you can get from the U.S. Census Bureau, right? So uh, based on, sometimes they're based on census tracts, sometimes they're based on zip codes, but, but the point is this is a geospatial indicator and we can associate something with that, with that indicator, right? And so um, to show you how to do this, there's various ways to do this, but here's a simple way. The, again, there are tools you can do this. You can do this in ArcGIS and everything. But I want to. Sh this way would work whatever you have, right? Whatever you have access to in terms of your data. So let's have a look. So we have our tabular data here. I've added in a sheet, and I've thrown in um, uh, something that uh, we sometimes use. And so this is based on census tract, but have a look. It also has zip code. So this this data set was originally created based on column A, but it also includes column C, right? And this is for California. Um, this is uh, uh, a measure of, um, uh, this is the California Enviro screen data, which is a measure of demographics and um, uh, environmental exposure to things like, like asthma rates, stuff like this, right? So this is a me measure of vulnerability to, to uh, challenges, to heat, to pollution, all that kind of stuff, right? So without going into details, um, that's what this stuff is over here. This is the Cal Enviro screen scores over here on the right based on based on zip codes. They're they're generated based on they're generated based on census track, but this is a, a cheat sheet that I've made that just uses the um, uh, the zip code uh, to do that. So the point is, uh, for our purposes, it has C, column C, which is zip code, and it has over here B is in boy, the California County. So you could sort it by hand and copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, which would work, but it would take a long time. You could introduce some errors. Um, and, you know, depending on how big the data set is, it might take you a long, long time. So I'm going to use this, this tool right here, which is another formula. And so it's... There's VLOOKUP, there's XLOOKUP, there's various versions. So I'm going to use this tool. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say, okay, here's my zip code. I'm going to insert a column. Okay, so now I have a blank column. And I'm going to call this California County, right? Which is what you guys said you were interested in looking at. It could be whatever. And again, you could use this technique to add distance from the coast or, you know, whatever the heck you wanted to add in, right? Okay, so... I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to come to my top thing, and I'm going to say, uh, paste that in there. And so now I have to adjust this. So, so this is just a generic formula, so i got to fix this. So the first one is, what am I looking up? Um, and so I'm going to look up uh, this dude. Oops, what happened here? I'm going to look up this. What happened here? Something got weird. I'm going to look up this cell here. And then, I'm for this next part, I'm going to click over to that sheet. And I'm going to say, oh, here's that zip code. Boom. Okay. And then it's going to say, when I find that, what column do I want to spit out? I'm going to say California County. Now it says Ventura. Right, so, so that zip code is in Ventura. And then if I copy and paste this down, it's gonna start filling everything in, right? And so there will be errors here because sometimes people are gonna be outside of California 
or whatever, right? So I'll have to do a little bit of cleaning at the end. I have to go back and delete these, these gaps, right? But still, this is way, way faster than you sitting there trying to type in all of these, all of these uh, uh, numbers. And so I go like this, go like this, hit paste, and boom. And then I would just, after I've done that, I would come copy and edit, paste special, and paste them as values, and now they're locked in. So now I can do whatever. So I can just come up now, and wherever I have, you know, something like that I didn't have that one, that one wasn't in the database, uh, I can just delete that, right? So that's one way that you can associate or, or generate some new columns of data based on something else very quickly.